Yeah, it's a great experience. It's something that, uh, you know, you circle on the schedule each year when you get to play at, at Fenway Park. And, you know, to be able to walk through the, you know, the field and get out there and be out on the, on the mound for the guys and be in the batter's box and play and be out in the bullpen and all that stuff with all the history there. Um, it's, it's a great day. We had a great turnout of fans for us, uh, for Northeastern side. And, and uh, really, we played one of our best games of the season. So uh, the guys weren't intimidated and, and actually, you know, really just stepped up their game and, and uh, had a lot of fun with it. Seven different players on offense had a hit uh, during Wednesday's game in the Bean Pot. Today, six different players have a hit. Foster goes three for five as well. You're getting a lot of quality offense out of all of your guys. Is that what you like to see at this point in the season? Yeah, we talk a lot about uh, when you want to be a good offense, it has to be one through nine or ten or eleven. How many guys get in that game? And, and even uh, guys, even though guys didn't get hits today, they they grinded out some at bats and, and made their starting pitcher work. And I thought we did a really nice job offensively today. I think the wind knocked down some baseballs, but um, I thought we swung the bats really well um, a lot of good ABs and you know for me you know Mike and Keith at the top of the lineup today was were, were the difference and some some big big hits and, and big at bats from both of those guys if you look at the box score uh, Berger only goes five and a third today but what it doesn't say two hits today by your both Berger and Fitzgerald today you're asking a lot out of your bullpen uh, especially Lippert Fitzgerald and Savali yet they're really coming through for you today talk about the pitching yeah and he starts with Nick you know he gave us everything he had today it was it wasn't his best start but he still managed to go into the sixth inning and not give up an earned run and, and left with the lead and and just really battled you know and um, you, you have days like that he hasn't had many over his career here he's been so consistent um, so it was great to at least have him get us into the sixth. but you know those guys in particular Aaron and uh, Mike and, and Isaac have been so valuable for us out of the bullpen and what they're able to do with extra inning, multiple innings and give us two, three, four innings like Mike did today and Isaac's done it and Aaron and, and be able to bounce back in time. So those guys have been so uh, clutch for us out of the bullpen and, and today it was Fitzy's turn and you know I'm sure you'll see Isaac at some point this weekend and Aaron and whoever uh, you know else we bring out of the bullpen but they've been so consistent for us and so valuable all year long and, and hopefully that continues. And with the victory today, you guys go to 8-5 and five in the CAA. I thought their starting pitcher did a really good job of keeping the ball down on the zone. And um, this is going to be a really tough series the rest of the way tomorrow and Sunday. And that's all I'm thinking about right now. No, uh, no way we're looking past this weekend. So there's a lot of, of conference baseball left, and uh, um, we need to take care of our own business first. And the Huskies will be back at home tomorrow with a 1 p.m. game against Hostra. Coach, good luck tomorrow. Thank you.